Hi, welcome to another video in my series on velocity vectors. And in this video, what we're going to do is look at how we can work out a velocity vector when we're given a speed and a direction. And to illustrate this, I've got this example here where we've got a boat that travels at 7 kilometers per hour in the direction of the vector minus 6i plus 8j. And what we've got to do is find the velocity of the boat. Now, first of all, let's say we take our unit vectors i and j, i to the right and j upwards, OK? So for the direction vector minus 6i plus 8j, what we've got then is, say, 6 units to the left and 8 units upwards, something like that. Let's just mark in our values, our components. There's 6 there and 8 there. So the boat is travelling in this direction. I'll illustrate that by the vector d. Now, for the velocity of the boat, it's going to be basically a multiple of this vector. It's not necessarily this vector I itself, because it would only be this vector if the magnitude of this happened to be 7. Remember, the magnitude of a velocity vector represents speed. So first of all, let's just check out what the magnitude of this vector is, OK? Just in case it does happen to be 7. So what we'll do is we'll say let d OK, equal the vector minus 6i plus 8j. And to get that magnitude, illustrated by this notation here, OK, it's going to be found by using Pythagoras' theorem. So that's going to be the square root, then, of the sum of the squares of the, these two sides here, those components. We don't need to write the minus 6 in, just write it 6 squared, then, plus 8 squared. We've got 36 plus 64, which is 100, so we've got the square root of 100. And that's going to be 10. Not plus or minus, we're only concerned with a length here. So we've got 10 as our result there. So it's not 7, it's not the speed here. If it were, then this would be our velocity vector. So what we've got to do is compare what 7 is to this magnitude here. We can see that the speed is 7 compared to what we've got here. It's 7 tenths. So what we need is a vector which is 7 tenths the length of this one to represent the velocity. So therefore, what we've got is that the velocity We'll define the velocity vector. We'll say it's v. The velocity v equals 7 compared with 10, 7 tenths then of our direction vector here, minus 6i plus 8j. We could leave it like that, or you might want to just expand it out. So if we do 7 tenths of minus 6i, 7 6 is a 42, divided by 10, so it's going to be 4.2. So it's minus 4.2 in the i direction, and then 8 sevens of 56 divided by 10 is going to be 5.6j. And there's our velocity vector. If you worked out the magnitude of that by doing the square root of 4.2 squared plus 5.6 squared, you will find it will come out to 7. And it's a multiple of the direction vector there. So in summary, to get the velocity vector, all I'm doing is to compare the speed with the magnitude of the direction vector. That's the length, OK, across here. That will tell me what fraction I've got to have of the direction vector. So of would be the multiply the direction vector. So speed over the magnitude, 7 tenths of the direction vector. OK, so I hope that gives you an idea then how we go about this kind of problem.